So, lately, I've been thinking a lot about infinity. Now, think to yourself, what is infinity? Infinity is an amount that we know is uncountable. You can say there are infinite numbers of grains of sand on the beach, or there are infinite numbers of stars in the sky. But we do know, as a matter of fact, they're actually not. We could count them if we had enough time to do so. Okay, okay. I promise it's not going to be another math lesson. I'm going to connect all the dots for you. So, how do you see infinity? Let's take a look at how you can see infinity. Now, this is a basic A4 size piece of paper. It has dimensions. If I were to draw a line from the edge and go all the way across, it will come to an end. Now, I can tear this paper in half. I have half the piece of paper now. However, I could go on further and tear it in half again. And now I have half of that. Well, you see, I could keep going on forever, but I do have a time limit, and I don't want you here staying forever. Do you realize what this demonstrates? The paper's dimensions are finite. You can start and then end, but the space inside it is infinite. Hard to grasp the concept? Let me give you another example. Imagine if I start walking from this edge, and my goal is to reach the red carpet, but the only thing is, every time I make a step, I go half the distance to the red carpet. So, in my first step, I'll go half the distance to the red carpet. In my second step, I'll go half the distance again. In my third step, I'll go half the distance again. In my fourth step, I'll go half the distance again. And in the fifth one, half. Theoretically, you would be sitting here forever, listening to me. I would never reach the red carpet. This again proves the idea of how in finite dimensions there could be infinity. Now, let's put this into perspective of space, the universe. Imagine our universe being in a piece of box, shoe box, let's say. It has a physical limitation, these dimensions. A box has a height, a length, and a width. That's a dimension. Now, think about time. There are 24 hours in a day. You could start at 12 a.m. at the night, live your 24 hours in a day, and then it's going to be 12 a.m. again. That's a dimension. But how I think of it is within those dimensions, there's a possibility of infinite things happening. You could do infinite things just within those dimensions. You see, we live in a field of infinite possibilities. Right now, you could be doing any particular thing in any time and space. Right now, you could be flying to Hawaii, or you could be at home eating ice cream, or you could be doing any particular thing. And interestingly, the chances of you doing any one thing at any given one moment is actually very, very, very small. But, so, you listening to me here right now, doing this very important thing, is actually very, very low. Now, if it's hard for you to grasp this concept, let's take a look at how you can see this visually. You all know number line, right? If you took your basic elementary classes. You see, number line consists of whole numbers, and there are also decimals. Whole numbers go as following. One, two, three, four, and you can go on. Whole numbers consist of basic placeholders for infinite numbers. Decimals can go as following. 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, but decimals can also go as 1.01, 1.001, 1.0001, and then you can continue with the numbers. So decimals have infinite placeholders for infinite numbers. You see, mathematicians get excited over the smallest things. Anyhow, so if a mathematician asks you, what's the distance from the number one to number two? All of you might say one, right? Because two minus one is one. Well, not according, not according to me. Well, at least not according to my last thought. I think there's possibility of infinite things happening just within those two numbers, as I explained with the decimal. And imagine one as being your start of the day, and two being the end. There's possibility of infinite things happening just within those numbers, just within those days and the dimensions. You could be doing any given thing at any particular moment in time and space, anything. So now I want to show you this really interesting mathematical case that has taught me something very interesting in life. And I want to show this to you. Now, if you take one, two, three, four, all positive consecutive numbers and add them up all the way to the infinity, you get negative one twelfth as your answer. It's interesting, right? It's how you always come across weird math like this. You would expect something positive and something big, right? Well, yeah. It's amazing. It's profound. 
It's hard for me to understand this. It took me a while to understand this. I can show this to you later when it's in the hallway. Well, but at up to one point, isn't this something like life? Infinite possibilities and things that don't make intuitive sense? So what if, what if, all, since all positives add up to negative, what if all negatives can add up to something positive? Think about any negative thing that ever happened in your life. Maybe a fight with someone special, a misunderstanding, or anything that you might consider negative in your life. Just imagine, what if you could learn from every bad action? What if all those negative things in your life could add up to something positive? If in all complexities of mathematics, all positives add up to something negative, what if in all complexities of our lives, all negatives add up to something positive? You see, now think back, give yourself some time. What are some setbacks or failures you have faced in your life? Has it caused you to give up? Has it caused you to move, like prevent yourself from going out? Misunderstanding with someone, has it caused you to lose trust in them completely? Or a fight with someone, has it made you end the relationship with them completely? Losing your job, has it caused you to sit back at home depressed and not go out there and try to find other solutions? Just think, how could you turn all those failures of yourselves into something positive and learn? Well, you see, as most of the things I explained that are infinite, sadly, our time here on Earth is not. So I want you to go out there. Don't let your negative thoughts, feelings, just sit within you. Speak them out. Try. Do everything in your power. You have infinite power. You can do anything you want to turn your negatives into positive. It's the complexity of life, and that's what I want you to grasp. Complexities of mathematics that are already hard to understand reveal a negative answer. You, your complexity of life could reveal a positive answer. And as an IBDP student, this idea gives me hope. <laughs> infinite hope. And that's what I live with. Thank you very much, MG Pajogi. Have a good day.